subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Guys, so we're back in the SSC. The last time you saw us here, we surprised Jack um, for his 18th birthday. <laughs> Jack's been training since since we first opened the gym, so Jack's uh, an original member of the gym. So it's going to be emotional just now, but tonight's going to be even more emotional. Turned 18. I remember when I turned 18, about 40 years ago. <laughs> when I was 18, big Tom spew happened. <laughs> we're now back here. We're upgrading the gym today, so basically all this equipment here is getting replaced. We've invested in the gym quite a lot, um, so that stuff's coming tomorrow. All hammer strength, plate loaded equipment, baby. So we're getting new leg press, new hack squat, um, seated uh, press, low row, lat pull down, what's the side? Chicken, the chicken. The chicken, the chicken machine that Eddie Hall uses. Um, so that's what we've got to do today before training, so we're cleaning this out. Um, replacing all the tiles as well because they're a bit knackered. So that's the plan today and then training today we're going to be pressing. Big Haz is back, Harry the Hurricane is back, he's got... Hey, the hurricane! He's going to be helping us do the jump, but also he's got a squat PB today. Um, see where he can get to. If you look at the clouds, there's a hurricane coming, huh? So we're expecting about 400 kilo raw squat from Harry today. Um, don't let us down, Harry. So stay tuned to see the hurricane back in action, causing destruction, whatever he lays down. So guys, we've got another job to do. If you look in this trailer, it's full. We've got to empty it into there. And Tom's speaking, he's not much of a help. <laughs> but to get the gym equipment moved, we've got to empty this. So Simon, put the camera down and let's go. The boys are helping well, <coughs> trying to help no, no, no. their dad. Listen, listen. Sorry. The two boys are helping well. Luke thinks he's the boss and just goes somewhere else. And these the, sticks, the sticks are for Luke. Ah. Exactly, where are you Luke? Yeah. I would yeah. never where are you boy? <laughs> I would never do this. Calling you out bro. <laughs> Come on then. Sabina, no. call him out. Favourite <laughs> <laughs> On the FA Cups here. <laughs> As you can see, we cleared the trailer. <laughs> see you back at the gym. We are back, <laughs> and look who's back with us, yeah. Harry the Hurricanes. Hey, <laughs> it's quite, it quite windy today, so I don't know what that means. When the cows lie down, it means a hurricane's coming. Anyway, we're here, Harry is going for a hurricane. Harry is going for a match squat. Match squat today. Yes, and I, me and Luke are doing some pressing. So I've got some nice five threes, rep stuff, 150 kilograms for me. Luke's doing a bit heavier. Then we're going to try and do as many accessory stuff as we can, because as you can see, our gym is uh, half and half right now. Hey! Anyway, <laughs> chase tune boys. <laughs> Obviously, as you guys know, we didn't do Manchester, did it? So this is now prep for Europe's strongest man. So like we said in the other videos, you know, we've got our head down. We're going to be training hard. Luke's got a big log to press. I've got a competition to win, so we're going to take some records and titles back home to the Highlands. Here we go, Europe's strongest man. 
I've been busy bro, been working, uh, obviously I work away so I have a ton of fitting and training while working away I mean if you follow my Instagram you can see I update more on that But I've been training hard like the weight's going up, my body weight's going up So the strongman thing's still in the, in the works? Yeah it? yeah, just obviously offshore you can't train strongman so I'm going back down to the, the basic like movements you know Deadlifts, squats, uh, push press so I'm just kind of focusing on that just now. And, and what, then, P what PB are you going for today, mate? Um, I'm hoping 220 or something on the squat, yeah. Well, I did uh, 200 two weeks ago. That was without a spotter or anything. Um, that was I was down in Fraser Bar working, so hopefully back at the SSC it might get, might get a good lift. We'll see what happens. <laughs> That's wood. Um, it's going all right just now. Uh, I squatted up to 260 for eights last night, which is massive for me. It's still a wee bit in my head, you know. I don't want to push squats too much because one wee wrong movement and that's me done. So I'm just trying to concentrate more on form with the squats. Push press today as well. It's going a bit heavier again, just to see what about it is. Doing a lot of volume work as well with it all, and then just every day. I'm just trying to treat it every day now as well. Like I said, Europe's is in like less than three weeks and you don't win a competition in the gym, you win by recovering the hardest and you know, following the diet to the tea. So I'll be at the beach every night. I'll be doing some uh, leg sleeves for Mario Master as well, just to try and get this hamstring to the best it can be. Might not be 100%, but if it's 98, 99%, then I don't mind. But yeah, it's feeling better than it was, which is a good thing. This is the first time I've been able to push press anything decent, so next set's 170, so 150 felt really f uh, nice and easy, there was no pain in the tendons, which is nice. Then I've been doing everything right, as in I'm not taking painkillers, I'm trying to really do the natural kind of rehab on it, you know, physio, acupuncture, red light, hot and cold, resting, but I don't want it to happen again, so I don't want it to keep reoccurring, so it's feeling good, uh, I'm excited to be kind of able to lift heavy again and prep for Europe's strongest man. Um, and yeah, feeling good. Uh, I believe the world record at the moment is 228 kilos in the log press. We're going for 229, 230, so it's just a couple of kilos heavier, so a couple of bags of sugar, it's not a big deal. Um, I've pressed that weights before, so it's just getting my body ready. Um, and then it's kind of two and a half weeks or so, and then get my mind ready to allow myself to be able to press that. And that's all it is, if my, if my head tells me that I can press it, then I will press it. After today's session, I think I'll be feeling really confident. Then long press Friday, even more confident, and then keep going. Just building that confidence, building that self-belief back up again that I need. Without self-belief, I can't live up to my potential, and as long as I've got my self-belief, I'll live up to my potential. My potential in log press is endless. <laughs> Lifting it from that low. <laughs> but I felt alright. How are they? Good? Yeah, I felt good, felt decent, uh, but it's quite low, you know, <laughs> picking it up, but what can you do?
is what it is. Squats done, went for a PB, wasn't there, wasn't happening, gutted, proper, proper sh but it's one of those, isn't it? You win some, you lose some. Just train a bit harder next week and try and get that 210, smash it out of the park. This is your first week back, though. First week back after, after work, oh, still a bit stiff and moving all that gym equipment, oh, who knows, you never know, but don't make excuses here, do we? No. <laughs> right, that's it. Right guys, that's push press done. Five sets of three. Felt nice and easy, you know, 150 kg. I've not hit that weight above my head in a while on a bar, so it's nice to test out the hammy again, like it did on Monday. And uh, it's still intact, so that's good. I've been able to now, I know that I can put some more, uh, you know, load through my uh, shoulders and stuff and do some volume, which is good. Same with Luke, you know, his tendons seem to be good just now, so hopefully, touch wood again, everything's going in the right direction. But yeah, like I said, push press felt easy. Now we're going on to high incline bench press. I think it's three sets of five. We're going to start about 120 kilograms and see where we can go. Felt really comfortable, the pressing wise felt comfortable. It's just I haven't done it for a few weeks now, so the the balance just needs to kind of um, kick in a little bit. The pressing powers there will um, increase it. I probably want to be doing probably 190 next week for that. See how it goes and then hopefully that will kind of follow suit with the log press as well. Not really sure what the plan is in log press this week, but I'll check. But um, yeah, just keep kind of progressing with that up until Europe's probably got another two sessions push press. It's just all gang ho at the moment, all, all guns blazing. Europe's is a big competition, it's a brilliant title to have um, and I'm really wanting that title so we'll see how, how things progress. Um, obviously there's a log championship there as well, wanting that world record log press but I really wanting the Europe's Strongest Man title more so or both of them would be nice, world log press champion and Europe's Strongest Man, I'll take both. We had the return of Harry today. He's been training quite well actually. Um, he's been a bit more consistent when he's at work, which is good for him. I think today he was just a bit fatigued coming in, going for a one rep max in the squats. Squats is always a hard one to, to get amped up for, for a one rep. I think he hit 200 a few weeks ago and then he was wanting to go a bit heavier today. Unfortunately that didn't happen, but I'm sure he's got more in him. Um, squats is a tricky one as well, because you kind of feel that you've hit like a bit of a plateau. Um, for a few weeks and then it'll just skyrocket, it'll just keep going and going and going. So I think that's where Harry's at at the moment. But he's putting on some size, he's looking a lot better. He seems to be enjoying it a lot more, which is which is key as well. So yeah, delighted to have him back, training hard and um, excited for that number three brother Harry to make his way into the competition circuit soon, if that's what he's wanting to do. Hopefully it is, because I would love to see him out competing. Um, I think being a competitive strong man or a competitive athlete is so good for your confidence and um, really drives you, really pushes you on to kind of achieve more. So, um, yeah, hopefully, we'll see Harry doing a competition very soon. Nice 
nice and easy getting back into it. Felt good. So uh, I feel spicy and I feel happy and nice and sweaty. Onwards to flat dumbbell bench press. Three sets of ten. <laughs> So that's the first time we've been pressing heavy in oil or anything decent anyway so my tendon felt really good how's your hamstring yeah touch wood all good to touch snare, wood. So. decent session so all good pretty happy um gonna go for a little swim later on do some recovery get some, some food hungry yeah. and, and that's it job done so so far so good in our prep for europe's strongest man um, by the time you watch this video, you will know the lineup, the full lineup for Europe's. We can tell you that we'll be there. Um, don't know who else is going to be there, but it'll be super exciting competition down in Leeds, September 4th. Make sure you get your tickets. It's going to be an awesome event. You excited for it? Mm hmm. Good. Uh huh, honey. And please, guys, don't forget to buy your spicy t shirts now in stock. Keep buying, keep supporting. Keep staying safe, keep smiling, and keep staying spicy. And don't forget to ring that lock bell. Bing, 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 b